All right, engines ready. It's time to fly! <laughs> um, okay, we can do better than this. Hello there then, my fellow Hylians. How goes your adventure? It sure would be useful if you could whip out at any point an incredibly fast, efficient uh, flying vehicle that costs tiny amounts of zonite and kind of trivializes any kind of travel you ever need to do in this game, wouldn't it? Well then I've got good news for you, because that's exactly what I'm about to do. Share with you how to get, construct, and keep the single most efficient, fastest, and useful vehicle that will guide you through literally this entire game, and honestly make things perhaps even a little bit too easy, especially down in the depths. So, for this then, we simply only need two components. We need uh, a fan, and we need a control stick. If you already have them, then skip ahead, but if not, here is the easiest way to get them out of a dispenser. For fans, you want to go to the tutorial island, and you want to teleport to this shrine here, the Nachoya Shrine. Once you arrive, run outside, throw yourself off the side of the ruins, dive all the way down, and you will land nicely on it. This can only dispense up to three different types of Zonai devices, which means you've got a very high chance of getting the fans that we need from this. Of course, we only need to construct this once, then we'll be whipping it out with auto-build from just Zonitor, but for the initial construction, this is the perfect place to get the two fans that you will need. So pop in your Zonite charge, or your construct parts, and job is a good un. Next up, for the control stick, device, panel, platform thingy, you want to head to the uh, Thiplo Ruined Skyview Tower, launch up, and use it to get to the Mayam Shrine on this Sky Island here, and this is where we'll get the dispenser with the steering stick. Of course, there are other dispensers that have these items around the place, but these are the first two I found, so I at least want to give you a place to go. So, talking of go, let's get to constructing then, shall we? And we're gonna need some precise engineering. Get your first fan and orient it so it is blowing straight down, and then, well, leave it. Now grab the steering stick and you want to rotate it 45 degrees towards you, like so. Then very carefully, very centrally attach it to fan the first. And then this is going to absolutely blow you away, but you're going to attach the other fan to the other side to mirror the first. Whoa. I know, <laughs> but trust me, you're going to be a fan of this. <laughs> this makes the video better for you guys, right? Like, this this does enhance your, enhance your experience. Well, talking of enhance your experience, we are now ready to take our lovely contraption for a spin, and you will see that this is the answer to all of your problems. Of course, register it first with your auto build, and set it as your favorite, so you can now whip it out whenever ever for the measly cost of only nine zonite which considering how easy it is to go down into the depths and farm nine zonite from one of the many mining camps of bokoblins around the place yeah this is going to be absolutely silly anyway if you don't have auto build yet in order to register it and just pull it out of nowhere well we do have a video dedicated to how to unlock it but essentially you just need to make your way to the abandoned central mine and interact with this panel and you will be gifted it this lets you just save creation and generate them into existence for the cost of Zonite, or if you already have the parts, we'll automatically put them together without you having to position everything. In any case, then, away! <laughs> You see how 
good this is. It uses minimal of your battery charge, and if you're wondering how to get more battery charge, you have to trade large zonite chunks and normal zonite for the crystallized energy at one of these little station shops. There is one next to where you get auto built. When you have a hundred crystallized charge, you can head to this little platform just outside of Lookout Landing, just north of it, and then swap it for an extra section of battery and repeat ad infinitum. So that's what makes this so good. You have incredible distance per battery consumed because you're only powering two fans, which drain fairly slowly. But the actual speed and control you get with this is ludicrous. You can get massive height if you need to, or you can just zip straight forward if you need to, and it is just such an efficient, potent, and powerful vehicle that really, unless you need weaponry or something specific or, you know, that kind of thing, there isn't a better way to travel around the place. There just isn't. From a pure min-max standpoint, this is kind of it. And it gets even better than that because, as I said, it only costs 9 zone IR to actually birth into creation. That is amazing. Oh, and did I mention that you do not take fall damage at all, ever, if you hit the ground while attached to the steering stick? Seriously. <laughs> And that's just the most cherryest cherry on top, is it not? Oh, I am absolutely in love with this thing, and it is essentially how I get everywhere. And as I said at the beginning, it does make exploring the depths so easy. You get to avoid, of course, all of the nasty on the ground and just go straight to where you want to and need to be. And if you're worried about light, you can solve that with a very simple solution of simply fire a bright bloom seed onto the fans and then it will just be growing there, providing you with a mobile light source as well. Which means you can just kind of zip from Zonai or Clump to Zonai or Clump from Light Root to Light Root and sort of not think about all of the horror that's going on down here, which is incredibly both satisfying and a much safer way to experience the dark below. In any case, then, I hope this has helped you. I really don't believe there is a way to get a more efficient form of travel for how little it costs and how little power it drains. And and I hope you have fun with it. Let me know if you would like a min-maxed zone and a battery charge farm so you can get, well, as much as you could want as soon as possible, as that's something we have been working on. For now then, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a god boy. <laughs> Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye